today I'm filming a makeup tutorial because I found, hold, hold, please hold, why didn't I get this out before? Because I found this eyeshadow in my collection the other day which I remember I used to use all the time when I was younger and I used to love it and it's this bright orange eyeshadow from Inglot and it's insane and uh, I just really felt like filming a grunge tutorial today I just really felt like it so I'm going to do a bright orange grungy makeup tutorial with a dark brown lip let's go my skin has not been playing ball with me recently because it's a shark week so I'm going to whack on loads of coverage. I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I love, in the shade Rattan. I've done my eyebrows because you know what I'm like with my eyebrows. They take ages and they're boring. They're boring. So I'm gonna move on to the eyeballs. Got this ye yellow, it's orange. I want the orange eyeshadow to really stand out and have a good base. So I'm gonna get use, I'm gonna use, why can't I speak? I'm gonna use my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. I'm gonna put this all over my eyelids and blend it out with my finger. eyeshadow this is number 51 and I am going to pack this on my lid and blend it out so that it's really seamless the L'Oreal La Palette Nude and I'm going to take this lightest brown shade here on a more fluffy brush and this is quite a cool brown I'm just gonna buff the edges bringing it really high to start the kind of grungy shape going Looking in the viewfinder, am I in focus? Looking in the viewfinder, and it looks even more orange on the camera, which is fine. What else? I'm now taking a little bit of the orange underneath my eye. I say a little bit, I'm really smoking it out underneath my eye. Um, I'm not going to put the base down there because I don't want it to be as vibrant under my eye. dark brown I'm going to use the dark brown in this palette and this is when things start to get a little bit more wearable the orange starts to get a little bit toned 
down, don't worry. So you're gonna wanna pack this on the outer mobile lid. The orange is still very much visible. So it's just a bit chilled out. And then underneath the eyes well. That is it for eyeshadow. Simple. Really simple. I'm putting a bit of that white cream product on my waterline because you don't want uh, to look like you've got an eye infection. It is time to mascara the F out of your eyelashes. I like to wear my MAC Extended Play Mascara on my bottom lashes because it doesn't smudge. It's a little tiny brush so you can really ooh, reach your lower lashes. And then I'm going to use my Tweezerman Lash Curlers and my MAC Upward Lash Mascara, which is my favourite. I talk about this all the time because it's fucking brilliant. I need to put some concealer underneath my eyes, so I'm going to use my current favourite, which is my Bourjois Radiant Reveal um, Corrective Hydration 24 Hour. It corrects, illuminates and hydrates, and this is in the shade 1 Ivory. Um, and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes with this, avoiding the eyeshadow, because you don't want to break that blend, if you know what I mean. <laughs> to redefine my face because I look like a plate <laughs> at the moment so I'm going to contour and highlight using my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette which is one of my all time favourite products I used to use this all the time and I kind of forgot about it and now I've rediscovered it and I love it so I'm going to use my Ars Eater my Nars Eater brush and I'm going to begin the contour game I'm then going to pop a bit of blush on and I don't actually know if they still make this um, but it's a sleek blush in the shade I don't even remember what it's called but it's basically a bright orange blush and to be honest you could use that I used to use that eyeshadow as a blush a little bit more subtle just like a light wash of peach on the cheek because it looks bright orange in the pan but when it goes on your face it it is more of a peach. <laughs> I'm now going to do the bold lip. So I'm going to start by lining, overlining, and filling in my lip with Max Chestnut Lip Pencil, which is just like a dark brown lip pencil. go in with Max Film Noir lipstick which I've been loving recently. So here you go guys, I felt like playing with an eyeshadow today and this is what came from that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day, um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and all of my links and all of the products that I used are all linked down below, um, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat um, and then all the products are all down below so if you want to check anything out go and have a click, 
and I hope you have the best day and I'll see you in my next video. I don't know why I'm being really aggressive. <laughs>